Hello everyone, this is Priyanka. Welcome to my channel, Priyanka IT School. Today I'm going to explain you how to install Docker on a machine. So for that, let's see the steps. Again, I'm taking help of my students so that I can show you the complete process. Okay, that how you can install Docker on your machine. So guys, for Selenium Greed, we need a Docker, right? So Docker exactly like uh, what are the different components you need to install? So very first you need a Docker desktop on your machine. So in my machine, it is already installed. So I'm just going to show you the process first and then I will cover this whole installation with some, you know, uh, with some other system. So very first guys, for Docker desktop, you need to open like uh, this particular website. So just search on Google Docker desktop and uh, then you will get this official website, okay? Docker.com. So Docker des desktop, you can see they have mentioned the very beautiful uh, meaning for this, like what exactly Docker desktop it is. So it is a collaborative and you know, the containerization software for developers. And it is like, what exactly Docker, you know, it's open source, okay? Centralized platform to design, create and deploy and even run application. So whatever grid architecture you want to implement that you can set up with the help of Docker desktop. So first, first thing, you need to install Docker on a machine. Okay, so what you need to do is, you need to just click on this Docker desktop option and you'll be using this uh, option, download for Windows or whatever platform you'll be following, right? For that, you'll be having these multiple options here. So obviously many people are using Windows, so you can directly click on uh, download for Windows and it will start downloading. Okay, but you know, for Selenium Grid, what exactly a uh, setup part we need? So guys, in Selenium Grid, uh, Docker Compose is the one more way through which you can set up the Selenium Grid on your local machine. So if I can show you the uh, detail about that, so you can search for uh, Selenium Grid GitHub and you'll be getting this GitHub link. This is the official website where you will get some documentation about Selenium Grid and how exactly you can set up the Docker on your, uh, you know, like grid setup you are able to uh, simply complete with the help of Docker. This information you'll be getting on this website. So if I can show you the best practice that we can follow to set up the Selenium Grid using Docker. If you scroll down this page, there are a lot of options they have mentioned. And here there is a one way available that is called Docker Compose. So I will be showing you a grid setup with the help of Docker Compose. So you can see this. They have mentioned that it is the simplest way to start Selenium grid. Okay. So you have to just use the YAML file. And with the help of this file, you guys are able to simply uh, set up the Docker on your local machine. Okay. So now let me show you the full process through the uh, other system so that you will understand the you know whole idea about this installation so yes Ketki, you can share your screen now so that i can uh, explain this whole process okay great so now very first step you need to install docker desktop so just search on google again docker desktop Okay, go to the first site. Yes, Docker desktop. And click on, just scroll the page a little bit and you can click on that download for Windows. Just click on that option. And you can see Docker desktop start installing, right? Actually, it's a exe file directly. So whenever we'll be starting installation, we need to use this exe file. So let this first download properly. Kindly wait, let this download properly. Whenever you have that file, you can directly double click on it and you can start installation process. So 
So it's the simplest way for a selenium setup, guys. Grid setup, okay? Perfect. So once the file get in, uh, downloaded properly, now you can uh, directly open that file or you can go to the download section or directly double click on that file. So just go to the files. Yes, click on download. And then you can double click on the exe file. Yes, just to double click and maybe it is asking you for permission. So just accept that. Yes, and after that you can see there is a well, uh, it's like a well icon, you can open that. Yes, so it is verifying some packages, right? And it is actually it is done and it is asking you to add a shortcut to the desktop directly. So just click on OK. Perfect. So it will unpack all the required packages and it will uh, show you the final, uh, you know, the Docker on your desktop. So let this complete the process. Okay, so once the all packages get, uh, you know, properly uh, unpack, then you will get this window. So installation succeed and then you can click on close and restart. So just you can click on the close and restart. So uh, whenever it will ask you to uh, restart, right? So once the complete system get uh, restarted, then you will get this particular Docker subscription service agreement. Okay, you need to accept this. So just click on accept button. Okay. Now, yes, you are getting some more information that complete the installation of Docker desktop. And uh, guys, whatever it is recommended settings are there, we will just use that settings. So just click on finish button. No need to change anything. Perfect. So now the installation is completed, right? No more steps to follow. So just you can see that Docker desktop you are able to see on your machine, right? The desktop. And you can double click on that. So Ketki, on your desktop itself, you can see that well icon, which is written with the Docker desktop. You can double click on that. Okay, so in Docker desktop, uh, it is asking you to, uh, I think again, it is asking you to sign in to connect, right? So just click on sign in. Okay, so right, either you can continue directly with your Google account. So just, I, I think you can continue with your Google account, yes. Click with continue with Google and you can uh, write your email ID and the password. Okay, so yes, continue. So just create your username uh, for login. Okay. And yes, then you can just click on sign up. Yes, and uh, just cancel this. 
and proceed with Docker desktop. Proceed to Docker desktop, okay? What the option you are getting? Just click on it. Okay, just always allow hub.docker.com open this link. Uh, click on it and open Docker desktop exe. Okay, again it is asking to sign up. No, right. Now it is moving to next, right? Okay, so what's your role? It is asking some detail. Can you just uh, scroll down? Can you check that whether it is uh, there is any other option available? Otherwise, you can skip this. So currently, you can write what's your role. Just uh, go for that drop down. Maybe it is asking you to select. Yeah, or there is a skip option directly. You can skip also. No issues. Just click on skip button. At the bottom, there is a button available. Skip. Yes. So let this begin. And these, these are the one time setup. Okay. Once you do with this, then you'll be able to continue. Okay, so now you can see um, there are certain commands or there are certain options you're getting. These are the component like container, images and all. So just one thing, Ketki, now you can uh, close this window and you can do one thing. You can check through the command line whether Docker is installed on your machine. So yes, you can close this browser also. Yeah, can you just double click on Docker desktop? Is it really, it's opening in the browser because it should be the desktop uh, application directly. Yeah. Okay. So it is launching in this way. Fine. Fine. Um, now you can do one thing in the image. Can you click on the image directly? Okay. And uh, the environment, can you just open each and every option because there is one e link will be getting or the key will be getting through which we are able to set up Docker on a command line also. Okay, so it is not available here, right? Just do one thing. Go to command line. Go to command line. That command prompt you can open. And just write one command, Docker. Then space hyphen V. Okay, now hit enter key. Perfect. So uh, guys, the then that means like in the previous installation setup, we need a specific key to be add and then only the Docker will install on your local machine. But now you can see it is completed. So installation steps are completed. And uh, now it is time to understand how we can set up the grid on a local machine, okay? So Ketki, now you can, uh, your installation is completed now. You can close this window and uh, open the browser. Okay. Can you search here Selenium Grid GitHub? Right. Just search here Selenium Grid GitHub. So this is the official website, okay, where you will get all the documentation. Yes. So there is, you can see uh, Docker images for Selenium grid server. Just click on that. Okay, the so same website, whatever I have shown you previously. Now you need to do what? You need to just scroll down this page and you need to open that uh, Docker compose, you know, option. So when you scroll down, there is a simplest way to set up Selenium grid on a local machine. It's through the Docker Compose. So just scroll down till the Docker Compose. Yes, these are the images and you know that uh, like manually also you are able to set up Selenium grid. But the simplest way that we can follow that is with the help of Compose file. So just scroll down till Docker Compose option. Yes, that's it. And now you can see. So this is a Docker Compose, simplest way to start the grid, right? What you guys need to do is, 
guys there are two versions you can see like uh, v2 version and version 3 and which is available with the dot yaml file okay y n l it's called yaml uh, what is exactly this uh, yaml is it is all about yet another markup language actually it is uh, it is for the data okay not for the document so it is a data serialization language that is used to writing some configuration file so they have already mentioned uh, all the setup, whatever you need for a grid, right? It is in the YAML file. So we just need to create the same YAML file on a local machine. So first, you just need to click on that option, version 3, docker compose v3.yaml. Yes, click on it. Then you will get the ready-made code. They have mentioned this code, setup, everything, configuration is ready. You have to just copy that uh, entire file. So if you can observe, just close that restore page option. Yes, Kethi. Yeah, close that and see on the top, you can see after uh, behind the row, you are getting that copy option. Behind the row, you are getting copy. Yes, to copy this file. Okay, perfect. Now you can open a notepad. Just open any notepad and you can save this complete file. I mean, paste the whole code in the notepad. just use control v okay and you can paste it done only the point is you need to save this file with the same name docker compose so just go to file and just use save as option and uh, select the location where you want to save this file so choose the location first if you need the same folder yeah fine so now you can just update a name. So already name is there, Docker Compose, right? Right, Docker Compose, Docker hyphen compose dot YML, dot YML. Okay, then you can save it. Done. Now you can close this notepad file from here and check whether it is stored properly at that location. So can you open file system again? Yeah, go to that uh, your folder and you can see Docker Compose. Okay, but now you can see it's not saved properly. It's a TXT file you are getting, right? So do one thing. Again, you can open that. Just double click. Yes, now you can again go to save as option. Fine. And just remove that .txt. By mistake, it is a .txt format, right? Yeah. And then you can, uh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Just click on that. YAML. After that, click. Go, go to the next option. Just click on that. And then you can go to the next drop down. Yeah, there is a text document. So by default, it will store as a text. So click on that. Yes, and just select all files. So we are not expecting it should store as a text file. Again, you can see there is a dot text added. Can you remove that? Docker compose and only dot yaml file should be there. Okay, extension must be dot yaml. That's it. Okay. Okay, done. Perfect. Now you can say. And now please confirm again whether it is stored or save as a text file or YAML file. Okay, now you can see there is a Docker Compose YAML file got selected. Now it is YAML file. Okay, the previous file is still there. So you can just remove that. You can directly delete that file. Okay. Fine, so it happens. Now the file is ready, right? So what the step you need to do for the setup? You can just uh, double click on the path. On the top, you are getting that path, right? Double click on that. And you know, whenever you guys want to open, uh, you know, this uh, grid setup, the first step is you need to open separate command line, okay, from this particular path where the YAML file is available. So Ketke, you can see there is one option you are getting CMD directly. You can just click on that. So it will open with the same path where the file is available, right? This is a separate command prompt we have opened. 
Now here you can write one command docker. Okay, space, I mean your hyphen and compose. Just write a file name, docker, don't give space, remove the space. Docker hyphen compose. Okay, then you can give space and you can just write one command. I mean, write one more word that there is up. You just need to write up. So basically this compose, now what we are going to do, we are going to start the server. Okay, so guys, it's again, through the server only we are able to access that grid architecture. So you need to write a command docker compose up. Just hit the enter key. And now you can see whatever it is required, it will start, you know, uh, simply downloading those particular files and you'll be able to see the result. Okay. Can you just open another command window? Okay. Let this complete the whole process. But can you open another command window, command prompt? This you need to keep open as it is. Just search for one more command prompt. Open it. Okay. And here, as we have previously uh, discussed about the, you know, the command, like Docker version, just write that Docker, Docker space hyphen V. So by default, if you observe, just hit the command. You can see this is the version available. Okay. But by default, when you check for the containers and the image, the count will be zero. Right. So let's confirm that. Just write here one more command. Docker. Docker. Space. PS. PS. PS command is for the container. Yes, hit enter key because in the background it is still downloading all the components, right? So you can see currently there is, previously there is no container available. Okay, fine. Now you can write one more docker. One more command you can write for images, docker space image, images. Just write images. Okay, perfect. Hit enter key. So very first, whatever container, now you can see guys, whatever container you need, right? For that container, very first, we need to download the images. So if you write these commands before installing grid setup, then you'll be getting both options will be empty, right? But now you can see as it, I'm just downloading that uh, grid setup in the background, right? In the another command prompt. So you can see here already it is showing that one image is available, right? And you are getting your option, okay, it is created 11 days ago because this is the latest version available for the Selenium, right? Now you can minimize this command line and you can check at the background, like uh, there is a one more command prompt we have already opened, right? So you can see it is still pulling the layers and all the, yes, you can see still the downloading process is continue, right? So we have to wait till this download each and every image whatever we need for downloading or uh, set up this grid, right? So just kindly wait, let this complete entire download and all, and then I can show you the grid setup. Okay, so once all the images get pulled and you can see after images, you are getting that uh, container also created, right? So you can go back to that second uh, command line where we have used the command docker ps. So previously you can see the docker ps was shown. Yeah, can you open that? Yes. So previously if you see docker ps is previously shown, it's empty. Now you can check for both command again. Just write docker ps. And just hit enter key and check that. Okay. So already uh, components are created now. So whenever you follow this command, you will be able to see the container detail. And yes, you can see this is the container detail you are getting. Okay. And now if we check again, Docker images, let's see which image it is showing. Okay. Can you see that? Now these are the images are already available. Okay. Which you are getting. Okay. So now 
your uh, Docker installation, even Selenium grid setup is also ready. So where you will able to access it. So for that, again, you need to open a browser. Just open your Chrome browser. Yeah, fine. And then open your any uh, new tab. Just go to new tab. And for grid setup, you need to follow again a port number. That's 4444. So just write localhost colon and 4444. And just hit enter key and check that whether it is installed or you are able to see the Selenium grid setup. And yes, perfect. Now you can see guys, Selenium grid is ready with the latest version of Selenium. And here you can see that uh, it's actually created environment on a Linux machine. And you can see three browsers with the latest version 120. You can see for each and every browser. So setup is ready. So basically for Selenium Greed, like those want to practice for Selenium Greed, like what exactly Selenium Greed it is. So we can test the application on multiple environment or in a distributed environment with the help of Selenium Greed. But installation for Selenium Greed, you can just simply complete with the help of Docker. Okay, so try this. And uh, yes, you will be able to continue with the, you know, the execution part on the same URL where the environment is ready. So now that's all for the video, guys. Thank you, everyone.